Today is Saturday the 11th of March 2017. This is the Gitzenweiler Hof campsite around 7 kilometers north of Lindau in southern Germany and it's March and the weather's pretty good outside. This is the vehicle I'm driving, a Deathlefts Trend 7017. It's a motorhome which has been designed for four people, four places to sleep, and an usual sleeping arrangement in as much as it's got a rear bathroom and two single beds. And let's now have a look at it. Coming in, one of the big advantages of an integrated model is this huge window that we've got up here. Another thing I like with uh, this type of vehicle is the space you get up there. Now normally that is the engine which you see from the outside, the, the bulge in the vehicle. But you've no longer got the bulge, you've got this space internally. When you're at a campsite as I am right now then it's a good place to put for example plants or herbs and things like that I haven't got any at the moment but often I've got them and that would be the sort of thing that would keep me happy also it's a sort of place I would leave my socks and underpants having washed them in the morning I've got the chairs round in this way because I like to sit back there I'll have my computer here pointed round and I'll sit back there and watch a film in the evening which is great. Alternatively I'll sit down here when I'm eating or working. I'm not doing much eating at the moment because I'm fasting but it does mean to say I am drinking a fair bit. I drink water with lemons in and a bit of apple cider vinegar. I'll do about that on another film. The table here is uh, it's a good size. Now I like a big table because if you're having to work in the van then you really do need a big table. If you there's four of you then also four people around the table you need space for it. Talking about the amount of people in the van you've got this enormous bed up here which drops down. However I'm sleeping in the back in the single bed because I couldn't be bothered to do it. Another thing about the integrated van is this. Now on the driver's side sometimes you get a door, sometimes it's an option. On the passenger side often there isn't a, draw, a door but it does mean to say you've got extra room here for storage. So you've got this, plate, this thing here where you can put books or whatever, your maps, or if people still use maps, I don't know, and other uh, materials. There's also, curiously enough, in the wheel arch down there, next to the wheel arch I should say, there's a bit extra storage space as well. Now, I, in the storage space down here, I'll keep my water bottles, you can see that in many films I've done. But, um, that's the sort of thing you could keep down there were you so interested. The windows have um, these net curtains as well as this is a decorative curtain and obviously the standard thing slide out windows you've got a blind and your mosquito net. Cabinets very large, very useful, and the gloss gives a very nice effect inside. Now, in the kitchen, the kitchen's pretty large from the point of view of storage. You know, you've got storage here, you can see down there, for example, and we've got plenty of room in these drawers as well for storage thing here is a bit of a mess but never mind and there's also a little bit of prep space here so um, you can do your chopping here and what have you three burner hob and while you're 
cooking, you can look out the window. Although really, you probably need the window to be a little bit higher to get a better view. Nonetheless, you can always look out the window down here. Thin Thetford fridge and more space below it. Now, at the doorway though, there is a rather serious uh, problem here. There's nowhere to hang your clothes. And um, hooks, uh, so if anybody from Death Lefts is watching, hooks would be a very good idea. Put a couple of hooks up here, that'd be just the job. There we've got the uh, controls for the heating and the water. And there we can see what's going on with electrics and uh, the water themselves. I always put a mat down here and leave my shoes as I come in. Now if there's a lot of you it's going to be difficult to find somewhere to leave your shoes but I don't know why. We always seem to bring little stones and everything into the van. Now I chose this van because it's not a, a design which I would personally go for. Now the, the two beds here at the back, well you know if, if you couple and you don't sleep together or, or what or whatever you well okay that might be a good idea if there's more than two of you as well you may be using the, the bed up front um, it may be now one thing I've got to say is that I found the furnishings here particularly the seat to be quite it's hard that's the sort of thing that I, I appreciate I do not like furnishings to be too soft same with the mattresses here I found as well now under here we've got storage and I'll show you how that works I've lifted the mattress off just to show you this and you have storage under the bed from here and you just pull this up like this and there you can see uh, access to the garage from the inside and there's much more than the it may give the impression from the outside that's a good place for example to leave the ladder for the bed which is up front on my right hand side down here we've got the boiler so this will also lift up and you've got access to a bit of storage there as well I'm not using both beds I just did this for the purpose of this film come into the washroom and this I think to a large extent is the pièce de résistance of this van it's got a very nice washroom, similar, I think, to some hotels. So, shower unit, I've got the towels up there, drying. Very large duckboard, so you can walk in and out, looks like the floor, in fact. Plenty of storage space for your shampoo, soaps and uh, what have you. Toilet is here. Next to the toilet, we've got another cabinet here. That's well, just me, so it's quite empty. And here we have the hanging space for the vehicle. Now, Deathlifts has remembered to put some hooks up in here, which, but that's, I think, largely for your clothing. You don't really want your outer clothes out here. Another thing I have to say about the vehicle is it's very warm. You can see there, for example, We've got the blown air heating. Another very good thing here is that we've got this full length mirror on this side as well as this very large mirror on the other side. And there's lighting as well. One thing I will say also about the lighting coming out of the washroom and um, it's during the day so you can't really get the same effect but I, I do appreciate the lighting now the first thing is it's got here under if, you, if you've got the pillow at this end you've got lighting up here as well as a 220 volt socket but that's not the end of it because there's also lighting 
at the other side as well. It's a different type of lighting. It may not be sufficient for the to read with, but it's up there. And I think this lighting gives a very good effect. I'll leave this one on at night. I'm sitting down there. I'm watching something on the computer and that gives the, the background lighting which I appreciate. The resort I'm staying at is, or campsite I should say, it's the Gitzenweilerhof near Lindau and this is it's about six and a half to seven kilometers the center of Lindau but it's a lovely walk in past forests and uh, vineyards so that's something uh, I like and also another thing is waking up in the morning and you've got all these na sounds of nature particularly the woodpeckers I've also seen kestrels outside as well now should you be here uh, doing something in this part of the room then somebody's sleeping up here you can of course put the divider across like that and so that makes the van much smaller but there is a problem here and that is if you need to use the toilet you're going to have to go through there anyway so this is a big down point of the the end toilet okay it's a very luxurious toilet a very nice toilet but it's a it does mean you have to go past these people there in addition we've got some underfloor storage here which I haven't got anything in it and that gives you an idea I think get some more stuff in there as well Now the engine, Fiat Euro 6, it's very easy to drive, it's like driving a small car. Uh, Fiat's done a pretty good job on that one. And a um, six speed gearbox. So it is a bit strange, the gearbox is strange in as much as that it, it tells you to change gear. Now for example I was driving along it, I think it was 16, I was in 1400 revs a couple of days ago and it told me to change gear from 5th to 6th. I don't quite follow that but uh, okay I did as it told me. When I was in Switzerland I didn't do as it told me. I drove as I thought was correct. So um, with uh, ice on the road and uh, it's slide, potentially slidey, but you, these bends and you're going up or downhill then I uh, did what I thought was safest and what I was most comfortable with. One feature I'd really like to point out is this skylight. It really brightens up the inside of the motorhome. And turning around, we can see the other one in the bedroom. And there's still plenty of space on the roof for things such as solar panels, which you will need, or for example, TV reception and that dish or anything else that may have to go up there. Let's have a look around the van now. Well there we've got the gas cupboard, you've got two gas cylinders there. Now this is the garage. Now you saw it, that it was under the bed and here it is quite large and there is space under the gangway to put long things like for example skis would go in there that ladder would go in there so there is that space although the ladder you'd probably want in a relatively easy to get to place for the bed there's also a place for the thing that you use to pull out the awning. So that goes up there and, and that's can be seen it's never been used. Here we have the rear garage and there's a lot less space in here. 
as you can see, it does go quite deep under there. There's not much space because the toilet is here. It's also not particularly high. Round the back, got space there for your bicycle, so three bicycles will go on there. Coming around. I think the vehicle has a nice shape. I like this integrated shape. You can see here under the other bed. So, see the space goes through the van like that. There's the gangway. And up there, we've got the boiler. And it is rather easy access to the boiler. Just have to lift the bed up. So if you're wanting something with single beds, easy access to the boiler, large lounge and plenty of light, there you have one solution.